everyone my name is Nas I have a Nutsu shop with the name Sewing Panda Patterns where I sell digital sewing patterns I'll leave the link in the description box please do check once you purchase, you will get the files to your email ID and also you can find them Etsy order. You will get A0, letter, A4 files along with readme file. In that, you will have all the information, printing, cutting and all. So in this video, I am going to show you how to stitch it with a clear and step by step process. So we need pattern pieces, fusing, elastic and buttons. So let's start with finishing the collar. Take two pieces and attach it with the right sides together and stitch the outer side with 1 cm seam allowance. Trim the excess fabric with pinking scissors, then turn it right side and give a good press. Next join the collar two pieces together. Next attach the fusing to the neck facing. As you can see, I have finished the raw edges with a serger. You can use zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. Then attach the facings with the right sides together at shoulder and stitch it with 1 cm seam allowance. Then give a good press. Next attach the front and back shirt pieces at shoulder with the right sides together with a 1 cm seam allowance then give a good press. Now attach the collar to the shirt by matching center points then stitch it with a 1 cm seam allowance. Next attach the facing to the shirt with the right sides together with 1 cm seam allowance.
trim the excess fabric and cut the corners. Next give a top stitch on the facing, make sure the seam should face it facing side, then give a good press. Now I'm going to stitch the sides with the right sides together with a 1.25 cm seam allowance. Next coming to the sleeve, fold the hem twice with a half centimeter first, then 2 centimeters to insert the elastic. And also stitch two rows with a large stitch length at sleeve head between notches to make gathers. Here I am using the loop turner to insert the elastic. And secure the ends with pins then stitch it. Now pull the thread and make gathers.
Now I'm going to stitch the sleeve sides with a 1.25 cm seam allowance, then overlock it. Now I'm going to join the sleeve to the shirt with the right sides together by matching notches with 1cm seam allowance then overlock it. Next I'm going to attach the facing to the shirt shoulder with a few hand stitches to avoid coming outside. Coming to the shirt hem, you can simply fold it twice with a half centimeter first, then one centimeter and stitch it. But here I am finishing the hem like this to look even more finished. Further, just turn the facing right side and stitch 1.5 centimeter above from the hem, then stitch it. Trim the corner and turn it right side. Repeat the same thing with other side. Make sure both the center fronts are same in length. Now fold it twice with a half centimeter first and then one centimeter then stitch the hem. Last step stitching button holes and buttons. For that we need buttons, button hole footer and button hole guide which you will get in the pattern. Make sure you do few sample before doing on main fabric. So here I'm showing you as a sample how to trace since shirt is in dark color. And as you can see here 
am using white fabric marker for dark color fabric. Now keep the cut at center front edge and mark the dots. Then join the dots. As you can see, I draw the line 1.5 cm from the center front and I'm going to place the button holes on the line. Make marks at center to stitch buttons. Here I'm using pins since the fabric is in dark color, but you can simply mark with the fabric marker. Now I'm going to stitch the buttons. I hope you like the video and the pattern. Please share your feedback on my Etsy store. Thank you.